Hey, what's going on guys? Tim Otech here. And now if you guys don't know, I'm a huge, huge fan of multiple screen gaming. And that's actually one of the things that brought me over to PC gaming. It's just that, you know, immersive experience of being in a game's world. Especially a game like Witcher 3 or GTA, where there's a lot going on in the game's environment. You know, I'll definitely take that immersiveness over the extra detail of a 4K display. And that's just my personal preference. Uh, but with that being said, you know, running three 2K monitors still requires a lot of horsepower to push that many pixels. So I'm always finding that limit and I have to adjust and, and tweak my settings to get something that I'm happy with. Uh, but today I'm super excited because I finally, finally got my hands on a pair of 1080s. Actually the EVGA Superclock 1080s at that. And I want to give a quick shout out to my man Aaron, who was super cool enough to call me when they hit the shelves so I could run up there and snatch a pair. Um, but like I said, I'm really interested to see how they stack up and compare uh, against my 980 Ti Kingpins that are currently in my system. So I'm going to run some benchmarks with those, pop the 1080s in, and see how the two compare. So stay tuned for those results. <laughs>
Now we did gain performance in every single game, but the biggest gains were seen in GTA 5 and Shadows of Mordor. Now overall this was only about a 10% increase and I would have really liked to have seen at least 15%, but these are our results, so until next time, peace.